a very happy morning my dear student friends once again i welcome you all to this uh, youtube class in our previous class we have discussed certain concepts like introduction utility cardinal utility approach and measures of utility means we have just seen the meaning of a, a total and marginal utility <coughs> let me glance uh, over the concepts in that uh, introductory con introductory concept uh, we have understood that how that consumer has to behave to get uh, maximum satisfaction or after learning this chapter we will understand how an individual consumer has to behave to get maximum satisfaction among the different goods yes this is what we understand from this chapter means how that an individual has to behave to get the maximum utility or satisfaction among the different goods and how he has to spend his that limited income that is what we understand from this second chapter that is theory of consumer behavior along with that we can see certain concepts like the cardinal utility approach ordinal utility approach law of diminishing marginal utility like various kinds of concepts uh, comes in this uh, second chapter thereafter we have seen there are two kinds of approaches which helps to measure the utility such as cardinal utility analysis and ordinal utility analysis thereafter we have seen what is utility yes utility means it is a wants satisfying capacity of a commodity yes this kind of capacity we can find in all the goods and services so that is what we called here as utility utility is wants satisfying capacity of a commodity so later we have seen the features of utility that utility which is subjective concept concept it means it varies from person to person it is relative concept means it varies or differs from time to time or place to place means the utility which we get which varies from time to time or place to place like it is difficult to or if it is different from pleasure means uh, that utility may be bitter or sometimes that utility may be bitter it is different from usefulness it means uh, sometimes that utility may useless means uh, harmful at last it is different from satisfaction see that it will be kind of uh, which is differ or which is other than that uh, satisfaction means uh, there is a difference between satisfaction and utility so this is what we have seen in our previous class thereafter <coughs> a utility approach okay in uh, economics we can find two kinds of approaches which helps to measure or calculate or we can say compare the utility which we derive from the consumption of commodity okay, there are two kinds of approach one is cardinal utility approach and the one is ordinal utility approach so let us uh, means uh, in our previous class we have seen this cardinal utility approach this kind of approach which helps to measure the utility by showing the numbers this kind of approach which de developed by alfred marshall he has said that though that uh, utility is introspective though it is subjective though it is intangible we can calculate okay, he has said that uh, we can calculate that uh, utility by issuing the cardinal numbers that's why i have <coughs> put there one image there uh, where we can find uh, cardinal numbers so this is what uh, cardinal utility approach 
देर आफ्टर वी हैव सीन ए कॉन्सेप्ट लाइक मेजर्स ऑफ इटिलिटी मीन्स दैट इटिलिटी वी कैन मेजर थ्रू दी कॉन्सेप्ट लाइक टोटल इटिलिटी एंड मैजनल इटिलिटी मीन्स हियर वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड हाउ मच इटिलिटी वी डिराइव्ड फ्रॉम द कंजम्पन ऑफ ऑल दी यूनिट्स ऑफ ए कमाडिटी सो दैट वी कैन सी इन दैट टोटल इटिलिटी so that is what uh, they have said means uh, how much utility we have derived from the consumption of uh, all the units or all the commodities so that uh, we understand this uh, total utility in formula of the total utility is total utility n is equal to marginal utility 1 plus marginal utility 2 plus marginal utility n means uh, how much uh, units of uh, A commodity we are having, no? so till that that marginal utility continues. Okay, that small n represents uh, the number of uh, units. I repeat, total utility n means <coughs> total utility and number of uh, units. Say uh, in that uh, first image we have two apples, no? So total utility of Two apples is equal to m1 m u1 means m u1 apple plus m u second apple means whatever the utility we derive from each apples now if we club the utility of <coughs> each apples we can find or we can get a total utility from both apples so this is what total utility like marginal utility. the utility which we derive or utility which a consumer derives from the consumption of an extra or an additional unit of a commodity so that is a marginal utility see in the second image i have added one more apple there so earlier uh, we had only two apples but in that uh, second uh, image i have added one more apple it means <coughs> there we have consumed or uh, there we are consuming one more apple by consuming that one more or third apple how much uh, utility we derive from so that is a uh, marginal utility in kannada we call anchina trustigona okay so we can calculate this marginal utility by using uh, the formula that, that is marginal utility <laughs> that is marginal utility of nth unit is equal to total utility nth minus sorry that is minus minus total utility n minus 1 it means we are if we are calculating the the utility which we derive from the consumption of third apple so at the time marginal utility of third apple is equal to total utility of third apple minus total utility of 3 minus 1 means the second utility second apple the total utility which we derived till the second apple that is 3 minus 1 means there we find the utility of at the second apple at total utility at second apple this is what uh, marginal utility thereafter <coughs> uh, yes uh, hope we are uh, at the step of it means uh, we have to take care this concept uh, in our today's class okay yes we can dif- we can find uh, some differences between uh, total utility and uh, marginal utility okay see the total utility which is derived from the consumption of all the units of uh, a commodity at uh, another side that marginal utility which we derive from the consumption of an additional or an extra unit of a commodity so that is uh, the first kind of difference between total utility and marginal utility like second difference is total utility can be calculated by the uh, followed uh, formula like marginal utility which we can calculate by 
followed formula like T u n is equal to m u 1 plus m u 2 plus m u n like marginal utility m u is equal to m u n minus m u n minus 1 like third difference between the total utility and marginal utility that is total utility curve increases as increasing sorry as decreasing rate means the the total utility which increases or the total utility curve which beginning or initially increases in a decreasing rate we will see why the total utility total utility which increases in a decreasing rate at initial point okay later we will see uh, through the various kinds of or through the theory what total utility why the total utility increases in a decreasing rate at initial stage like that marginal utility curve which always sloping downwards means that that total utility curve which always diminishing slope it means which always has diminishing slope means which always decreases from left to right or which where we can find the <coughs> downward sloping marginal utility curve okay so that is the difference between the total utility and marginal utility like fourth when the total utility at maximum level means when we see maximum utility no or the total utility when it is maximum no at that time that marginal utility will be zero when we find a total utility at maximum level at the time marginal utility will be zero this is also we will see later uh, by the theory and last total utility which falls okay after reaching certain point of time that total utility which falls means that total utility decreases at that time marginal utility or in another side that marginal utility which becomes a negative see this is difference between that marginal utility and total utility so <coughs> So the, these are the certain uh, differences between that uh, total utility and marginal utility. Hope uh, you are getting what I am saying. So in our next concept, uh, we are going to see. Uh, uh, I, I have used uh, the same example whichever you used uh, in your text. That is, there are six units like one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, uh, there. The consumer who felt the utility which or the, the consumer who derived utility from the consumption of the units of a commodity like total utility which beginning 12 thereafter 18, 22, 24, 24 and 22 like utility 12, 6, 4, 2, 0 minus two okay so here to make you understand i have given uh, i have solved one uh, problem means uh, at second uh, unit of a commodity total utility and marginal utility is suppose if we are if we are not uh, having uh, that 18 in the total utility so at the time we can find that 18 by doing this kind of exercise I repeat so I have highlighted that 18 or the, uh, the, 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 the word horizontal line of that second unit like second unit where we had 18 utils like by the consumption of second, uh, second unit of a commodity we derived at second it means uh, by the consumption of uh, one more it means uh, second apple a uh, second unit uh, of a good we derived sixth uh, units of marginal utility so if we are not uh, having a uh, that total utility it means uh, if we are not having a uh, 18 number in that uh, section so at the time we can 
calculate that 18 like or at the second unit of a commodity we can find the total utility as by considering a marginal utility which we derived from the consumption of first unit of a commodity plus marginal utility which we derived from the consumption of second unit of a commodity okay so let us uh, use the data into that equation like total utility is equal to marginal utility of marginal utility of first means see utility which we derived from the consumption of first unit okay we derived 12 units of uh, utility okay that's why i have used it here 12 plus marginal utility of second it means from this consumption of second unit how much we derived six units so i have used that six there so if we add 12 plus 6 we will derive we will get 18 means after consumption of both means 1 plus 1 it means first and second we derived totally 18 units of total utility like we can calculate that marginal utility so suppose we are not having that 6 means uh, here I have said no yes suppose if we are not having a, that uh, uh, whichever I uh, highlighted in that uh, marginal utility like 6 if we if we want to calculate uh, the value of uh, marginal utility when we consumed a second unit so at the time we can use the same formula like marginal utility is equal to T u n minus T u n minus 1 ok so at, at second unit marginal utility which we, we can uh, which we can find like total utility at second <coughs> unit of a commodity 18 means after consuming both units of commodity we derived 18 units of utility minus T u n minus 1 means previous one means 2 minus 1 means 1 no means at first unit of a commodity how much we derived no that we have to take here means 2 minus 1 means first means 1 means first unit how much total did we derived at first unit 12 means 18 minus 12 is 6 it means so marginal utility which we derived from the consumption of second unit is 6 so like uh, we can calculate uh, the marginal utility like we can take one more example like third so if suppose we are not having suppose we are calculating uh, the total utility as at uh, third unit you just think uh, we are not having a uh, 22 number there means uh, we, are, we are finding or we are uh, calculating uh, the total utility at uh, third unit at that time what we have to do we have to add uh, m1 plus m2 plus m3 so m1 is how much m1 is 12 plus m2 is how much 6 plus m3 is how much 4 so if we club m1 plus m2 plus m3 how much we get now so that will be our total utility at third unit okay let us uh, add there 12 plus 6 is 18 18 plus 4 is 22 see we i also mentioned there 22 only okay like we can calculate total utility by adding the marginal utility yes, like come at uh, this marginal utility side okay at marginal utility also we can calculate uh, the same kind kind of uh, however we have conduct calculated uh, in earlier example okay at third uh, unit just uh, assume we are not having uh, that uh, number four number at that marginal utility column at third unit uh, we are going to calculate uh, the marginal marginal utility means uh, after consumption of third unit of a commodity how much utility we derived from the consumption of uh, that uh, third unit of a commodity okay 
So at that time also we have to use the same kind of equation that is T u n minus T u n minus 1. Okay, T u n is how much there? See, yes, you are absolutely right. T u n means uh, at third unit uh, T u is how much? 22 minus n minus 1 means 3 minus 1 means third unit minus previous uh, 1, not uh, the first unit. n minus 1 means uh, n means 3 minus 1 means uh, that that, uh, that we have to take uh, in default 3 minus 1 means uh, 2 at second uh, unit how much total did we derive no so that we have to take here means 22 minus 18 so if we subtract there 22 or that 18 in that 22 how much we get 4 so that much utility uh, which we derived from the consumption of third unit of a commodity. So like uh, we have to calculate. On this uh, you have one practical oriented question. So there you will have one 5 marks question on this. Okay. So there they will ask you like uh, find missing values. So at that time you have to find the missing values. Here I have said values of uh, total utility and marginal utility. So there they will ask by um, asking uh, it means uh, there we will not find uh, uh, certain values the, those values you have to find by using uh, the same kind of uh, equations whichever I am saying here ok I hope you have understood yes let us get into the next concept That is law of diminishing marginal utility. Okay, I repeat the next concept that is law of diminishing marginal utility. Okay, so this kind of uh, theory which helps us to understand why the total utility increases in, incre in decreasing rate at initial stage after a certain period of time that reaches its maximum point thereafter it uh, decreases that is what we have seen in the differences between the total utility and marginal utility now we will see here why the total utility increases becomes maximum and decreases later at the same time that marginal utility which uh, decreases till a certain period of time thereafter this marginal utility which becomes uh, negative Okay. So, in this theory, we understand uh, why the total utility and marginal utility behaves like this or how, <coughs> why, an in, an <coughs> why that an individual consumer gets uh, that utility in this uh, passion or why that uh, utility which uh, increases in a decreasing rate at initial stage and after reaching certain period of time, why that utility decreases or why that utility becomes a negative ok so let us see the law of diminishing marginal utility is one of the important uh, laws of utility analysis see this law of uh, diminishing marginal utility which is the which is the one of the important uh, laws of uh, utility analysis we can find uh, various uh, uh, laws of utility analysis among this law of diminishing marginal utility which is one of the important uh, laws ok let us see the law states that as consumer increases the consumption of any one commodity keeping constant consumption of all other commodities the marginal utility of the variable or the ins of a commodity must eventually declines see here so this theory says that or this theory states that or says that or <coughs> describes that or indicates that so as a consumer goes on consumption of any one commodity or units of a commodity keeping constant consumption of all other commodities 
the utility which we derive from the consumption of successive units of a commodity or the an additional unit of a commodity which goes on decreases okay means let me clear here we will find the number of goods in a an economy so among if we consume <coughs> unit of a commodity by keeping a other commodities constant means if we consume a particular commodity or if we consume or if we increase consumption of a particular kind of particular units of a commodity what happens the utility which we derive from the consumption of an additional unit of that commodity no that goes on decreases let me give one example here <coughs> suppose your father has just come from work and you offer him a glass of juice yes i repeat suppose your father has just come from work and you offer him a glass of juice at that time the first glass of juice will give him greater satisfaction means your father will get a maximum or not maximum he will get a a kind of uh, utility which uh, we are aware the, uh, that uh, uh, father will get greater satisfaction the satisfaction with the second glass of juice it means uh, if you offer one more glass of juice the that father gets uh, relatively lesser satisfaction from that uh, second glass of uh, juice with further consumption means if a father or if that father consumes one more glass of water means a third glass of water he may get relatively lesser satisfaction from that third apple like if if that father goes on consume goes on drink uh, the glass of juice what happens that mass the it will the satisfaction which go, uh, which uh, he derives no that becomes uh, zero after uh, reaching certain glass of uh, water or after the point if he means that father drink uh, one more glass of that is juice what happens it will lead to disutility means there he will not get any units of utility from consumption of a glass of juice such a decrease in satisfaction with the consumption of excessive units occurs due to the law of diminishing marginal utility means here an individual gonja goes on consumes uh, consume any units of a commodity what happens the utility which that uh, consumer derives that goes on diminishes that utility which uh, increases in a diminishing rate i repeat yes if we consume one com- units of a one commodity or if we continuously consume uh, units of a commodity what happens the utility which we derive from the successive units no which uh, goes on diminishes i give one more example here yes after it means after long gap you had a dairy milk chocolate means 5 rupees a dairy milk chocolate then uh, what do you will what will you do you consume first unit of that chocolate and you derive some or greater satisfaction there so if you go on consume some units of that dairy milk chocolate what happens at second bite of that chocolate you will be get a lesser satisfaction like if you goes on 
consume that dairy milk are the successive bites of that dairy milk chocolate what happens at a certain period of time you will be satisfied or your that trust or your uh, the uh, like or wish to eat that chocolate which uh, fulfills even after if you consume one more bite of that uh, dairy milk chocolate what happens you will get a headache or stomach ache or something which is bitter so that is what disability it means even after the consumption of or even after greater satisfaction if you consume one more unit of any commodity what happens you will get a, or a, from that a, unit of a consume a commodity you will get a negative utility or this uh, utility so that is what uh, <coughs> says uh, that is what we understand from this law of diminishing marginal utility you just three uh, you just see table and uh, the diagram which uh, i have used in the slide so the same example whichever i have taken uh, from the textbook so there are six units 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 total utility which is 12 18 22 24 24, 24 and 22 marginal utility 12 6 4 2 0 and minus 2 the same figures are uh, on the basis of uh, the figures i have drawn diagram here so that diagram says that <coughs> at first unit means after the consumption of first unit we derived totally 12 units of utility at the time marginal utility which is 12 it means that is the first unit of a commodity you no know? so from the consumption of that first unit we derived 12 units of marginal utility if that consumer goes on consumes the same commodity or units of commodity means at second unit of the same commodity he derives or after the consumption of second unit of that commodity he derives only 6 units of utility so if we add that 6 with that 12 how much uh, will get 18 so that will be total utility it means uh, after consumption of both units of a commodity he gets uh, totally 18 units of a utility like if that consumer consumes uh, one more unit means uh, third unit at third unit uh, he derives only four earlier he had six units by consumption of second unit at third unit he derived only four units of uh, utility so if we add that four with the 18 how much will get 22 means after consumption of all the three units of uh, commodity we derives totally 22 22 units of utility that is total utility like fourth that consumer it means at fourth unit of a commodity he derives only two units of a utility if we add that to with the 22 we will get 24 units of utility it means after consumption of all the four in safa commodity that consumer derives totally 24 it it will uh, it will of utility or in safa utility so if that consumer goes on consumes or if uh, that consumer consumes uh, one more unit of that commodity means uh, fifth unit of that commodity he derives zero unit of uh, utility it means uh, he has become satisfied okay means uh, there he has got a maximum satisfaction or greater satisfaction okay so so the term at the fifth unit of a commodity he derives zero unit of a utility so at that time if we add that zero with that 24 we will get a totally 24 units of a utility that is total utility at fifth uh, it means uh, from from adding uh, 
the utility which uh, derived from the all uh, five units of a commodity we get derive 24 units of uh, utility that is total utility that is a maximum point the total total utility which uh, reached uh, its peak point or uh, that uh, maximum point or this is the maximum satisfaction level so even after that if a consumer consumes one more unit of uh, the same commodity he derives uh, or from the sixth unit of that commodity he derives negative utility that is minus 2 means uh, here he gets a disutility it means here if you if that consumer consumes one more unit of a commodity after reaching the maximum satisfaction or after getting maximum satisfaction he gets a negative utility it means he he may get uh, psychologically or uh, physically headache or stomach ache or uh, some other kinds of uh, uh, <coughs> feel so this is what a negative utility so at that time if we subtract that uh, minus 2 in that uh, total utility it means uh, at fifth uh, in it it means uh, at uh, fifth uh, commodity we derived uh, totally 24 units of utility no so if we derive, uh, subtract that uh, minus 2 in that 24 we will get uh, 22 means total utility which we derive after consumption of all the six units is 22 so it means uh, total utility which uh, decreased from 24 to 22 <coughs> i hope you are getting what i am saying so in our next slide we will see the same kind of yes this slide which describes uh, the earlier table and uh, diagram in the diagram units of a commodity measured on ox axis and utility on oy axis so here see here in that diagram that ox axis which always horizontal to that uh, diagram means uh, that uh, where we 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 can find no utility of commodity no so that is uh, ox axis so in that ox axis we measure utility units of a uh, commodity like on that oy axis oy axis means uh, uh, that vertical axis means uh, where uh, we measure utility means uh, how much utility we derive from that uh, consumption in sub consumption commodity no that we measure in that uh, oy axis means uh, uh, that vertical axis like the total utility increases as consumer increases uh, consumption of units of commodity it means that total utility which uh, goes on increases as consumer increases consumption of uh, units of a commodity it means initially the total utility which increases in a incre- increases when that goes con- consumer goes on con- uh, goes on increases consumption and marginal utility which uh, decreases as go- uh, as the consumer increases consumption of uh, a unit of a consumer commodity that total that marginal utility which uh, goes on decreases and total utility increases in a decreasing uh, rate see if we see the rate of that uh, total utility increases that uh, the rate of that uh, total utility which increases in a diminishing or decreasing uh, rate and total utility which becomes maximum no or total utility maximum at that point marginal utility becomes uh, zero when total utility de- decreases means that total utility decreases at that time marginal utility becomes uh, negative it means as consumer increases consumption of the particular commodity the successive utility or the the uh, the successive utility goes on diminishes okay this is what uh, uh, we can understand from this uh, law of diminishing marginal utility means uh, a consumer goes on consume any <coughs> units of any commodity the utility 
which he derives from the consumption of success units of that commodity that goes on decreases in the above table consumer derives 12 units of utility by consumption of first unit of commodity okay that is what uh, we have seen now the first, from, from the consumption of first unit he derived totally 12 units of uh, utility when he consumes a second unit of commodity he derives only 6 units of utility it means uh, from the consumption of an additional unit uh, of a commodity the consumer derives less utility like at fourth unit of a commodity he derives only he derives zero units of utility it means after certain point of time consumption of units of the commodity consumer will get satisfied thereafter therefore he has not got utility from fourth unit it means he is he 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 reached the maximum satisfaction level or he has become satisfied so that's why if we consume if we consume one more unit of that it means a fourth unit of that commodity he derives zero units of utility <coughs> consumer consumes a fifth unit of commodity and he gets minus 2 units of utility it means negative utility or disutility it means negative utility it is because after maximum satisfaction if we consume units of the commodity we get negative utility for example we will get stomach edge or head edge so this is what the theory says the law of diminishing marginal utility or we can say in one line the law says that if a consumer goes on consume or if a consumer consumes more and more units of a commodity the utility derived from each successive units goes on decreases okay in our day to day life if we go on consume any units of any uh, units of any good type of commodity what happens the satisfaction goes on diminishes so this is what uh, Uh, we understand from this law of diminishing marginal utility hope you are getting what i am saying hope you have understood so on this uh, they have formed one six marks question so they will ask you question like explain explain the law of diminishing marginal utility with the help of table and diagram at that time you need to draw table and so this table and and the same diagram whichever i have used in in the slide okay you can use your own numbers there is no in hard and fast rule to use the same numbers and the same diagram you can use the numbers whichever you want but the rate of that marginal utility the uh, should go on Dim, uh, decreases di- diminishing okay so in that fashion only we have to use uh, numbers like 12 6 4 2 0 and minus 2 means uh, you can uh, you can use uh, the numbers uh, here like uh, in, in a diminishing rate like 20 thereafter after 18 there after 15 there after 13 there after 0 there after 10 so like uh, you can use uh, numbers there is no hard and fast rule to use uh, the same numbers whichever they have used in that text or in my slide okay you can use your own numbers but uh, the rate of that marginal utility should be diminishing so in that fashion only you have to form that uh, table so let us get into the next concept that is ordinal utility approach so about this uh, i will say later this is also one of the utility approaches which helps us to measure the utility though it is a uh, introspective though it is intangible okay so in our next class we will see who has developed uh, the theory ordinal utility approach and uh, 
how this ordinal utility approach is differ than that cardinal utility approach and how we can calculate that utility by using a ordinal utility approach so in my next slide i will ask certain questions on the basis of the today's class to answer it's hard to breathe but that's all yes in my next slide i will ask a question so which are completely based based on uh, the today's uh, class and those will be one one word or uh, a sentence or uh, two to four uh, points questions okay i am very much happy um, many of uh, my dear student friends are responding to those uh, questions and this is the right kind of behavior continue the same kind of uh, definitely you will be able to score more or out of out marks in our economic subject please continue the same kind of zeal or the spirit and i already told you know in the interact in that what we call that in the first year class okay those who will score out of out marks in economics i will give 1000 rupees to that student that each students okay if uh, 100 students have scored 100 marks then i will give 100000 rupees to all the 100 students means uh, 100000 into 100 means how much it will be so that much rupees i will give you give uh, to those students suppose two students have scored 100 marks then i will give 2000 rupees means uh, 1000 rupees each students okay so like i have a tendency in our economics department so this is completely personal cash prize means personally i am giving to the students who scores out of out marks in economics and one more cash prize i have that is those the student the students who scores more marks it means maximum marks in our economics subject means uh, if you have scored 99 marks in economics okay nobody has scored more than you then i will give 1000 rupees to that uh, student who scores uh, uh, maximum marks means uh, in, in 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 my example i have said 99 no so who scores 99 no so the, to to her or him i give a cash prize so like uh, every year i have minimum 2000 rupees as cash prize means i used to give 2000 rupees to my dear students so let us see this year who will get uh, that kind of a uh, cash prize thank you have a good day